Hi, I'm Dustin and I'm the creator of Rapid Rig. And in this tutorial, I will be covering how to do some of the other modifications to your proxy rig that go beyond you know, the individual edits to your different modules. So I'm going to jump over to the Fit Proxies to Character tab here. Now this may look familiar to users of older versions of Rapid Rig Modular. And usually it's, it used to be stacked next to uh, the Create Settings. And to save on screen real estate, I've condensed it into its own separate tab. However, if you find that you're going back and forth a lot, you can still kind of get the classic view by clicking this button here. And now you can have them stacked beside each other. So that way, if you're creating proxies and wanting to mirror or do whatever settings you're wanting to do, it's right there. Uh, to save on space, though, in my, my, my viewport here, I'm going to switch it back to um, just the condensed version. And I'll switch over to this tab here. Okay, so the first thing we can do in here is choose custom colors. So uh, say for example, your scene's getting a bit cluttered and you have a lot of different modules, like let's say you're doing a spider or something that has eight legs and you know which leg is which. What you can do is select a, any proxy from the one you wanna change colors and then just choose the color that you wanna give it. And now it'll have that new color. I can go in and you know, modify any of my different modules to be whatever color I like. And so that might help you for, you know, distinguishing your different module types. I'm just gonna leave that back as it was, and then we'll go on to the next option here, which is cloning. So uh, let's say, for example, I wanted to add an extra set of legs, and I'm just gonna rotate these just to kind of further demonstrate. And so if I were to take these and I load, uh, sorry, I choose that and I give it a new name, so I'll call this like hind leg. So let's say I wanna have legs more in the back and uh, I'll clone selected and now I can push that back and now I have legs that are identical to the other one with the new name so bring the settings back here's my hind leg hip and this was my just my leg hip so uh, easy way to kind of duplicate if you need to create more modules out of the existing ones rather than building them from scratch every time and uh, the next thing we should take a look at here is when you have a bunch of branching ones. So for example, if I have the arm, let me just hide the body here. And the arm has these auxiliaries and fingers and the bridge and all these things attached to it. So um, I'll give this a name like arm two, and I'm gonna tell it to not include branches. So when I clone it, it will just give me those arms and none of the uh, children modules that are attached to it. Let's do it one more time. And this time I'll call it three but I'll turn on include branches and then I'll select what I want to clone. So I'll grab just any of the arm ones. And when you choose this and it finds that there are child branches, you'll get this UI. And so I'm calling this arm three. Some of you want to rename everything else to have that three. So what I can do is, you know, I can manually type in each of them and go like this and then switch it to a three. So I can feed in all the names I want. Or what I could do is just choose a custom suffix here and say apply to all. And then that will uh, apply all of them at once. If I were to switch it to four, now it'll just use that. So uh, you don't have to use that, but it just makes it a lot easier to rename all your assets. And then when you're good with the new names, you can choose clone. It might take a second because there's quite a few attached parts here. But once it's done, there we go. Now we can push that, say, forward. And so now we have the exact same duplicate. They're all attached to the same nodes. They all move together. So just a useful way of uh, being able to duplicate. And so the next thing we have is reattaching. So uh, let's say we wanted these arms up here to be attached to you know, a lower spine joint. So what I could do is select this one here and I can say press load. And so then I'll have that proxy in there and I'll just choose what I want to attach to that. So let's grab one of the arms. You can grab more than one if you want and I'll just say attach selected modules to the new one and so now those arms are attached there and when you build your rig that's what they'll be following and this sort of works with you know anything you like so if i wanted to move you know both the finger and thumb to say this other hand or other arm that i've built uh, i'll go in and um, just choose that one and then grab these and i'll say attach and so now if I were to grab these, well, if I grab this, you can see that those hands are now attached over there. 
So that's the uh, reattaching and the cloning. The next thing we have is just deleting. So I'm just going to do put those back where they were. Okay. And I'm just going to delete some of this, some of these nodes I've created that I don't really need. So I'll select say here and here and here. And if you delete selected modules, it'll delete all the uh, branches. So I'll just warn you, hey, are you sure you want to do that? Go ahead, hit OK. And now we're kind of back to where we were. Uh, the next one, I kind of showed this a little bit earlier, but just to cover it again, you can go in ahead and make changes to one side. And then when you hit uh, the mirror, you could choose whether you want to do it to all, or if you just say to, so I'll do all for one second there. Now it's done both sides. Uh, if I were to say, pull this out and uh, move the knee, if I only wanted to mirror the knee, so let's say I have an asymmetrical character, I can just say selected, left to right. Uh, if I were to grab, say, my eyes and pull those apart, what I could do, and maybe I'll move the cheek or something, you can also choose the module, and this will grab all of the nodes in that module. So I'll do left to right there, and I'll do that entire module without going into anything specific. And uh, I can go in and you know make my other tweaks, whatever I like. So let's say I um, move these and move that. And so I grab, say, the spine. I could say to not the module, but the branch, and that will do everything above it. And then if I do all, that will make it back to being symmetrical. So I've made a total mess of this, but that's basically those so far. Uh, the next thing is the pinning. So let's say, for example, I wanted to, you know, move my spine up a little bit. Well, it's going to move everything attached to it. So what I can do is grab everything that's attached to that. So I'll grab these three here. So the, that's my arm. Actually, I only need to, yeah, I'll grab all three. So both arms and then the neck, and I'll just say pin module. And when you pin it, you'll see that the color changes to red instead of blue. For the connector and then so now if I go in and I move this I can update that and then when I'm done I can unpin these and now it all moves together so really useful for if you need to fine-tune something lower down the hierarchy without um, messing up you know the positions that you've set for and then the last thing you can do is transfer transforms so let's say uh, I create a new arm off of uh, the spine here. So I'll just go back to building and I'll say arm and I'll call this arm two. Actually, let's use our cloning to be a good chance. So let's go back here and I will choose this and I'll call it arm two. And I'll just close uh, only that, not the whole branch. And I'll push this back. And let's say I went and I moved you know, this arm here and just like that. And I wanted to um, have these update on the other one. I don't want to delete it and then recreate it with the offset. So what I can do is uh, I can grab this and this and I can say uh, selected and transfer and then it will copy one to the other. So whatever you select um, last, so let's say I wanted to, yeah, so if I want to copy from this one, I'll select that one last and I'll say transfer, and then that one will match. Uh, and then I can also do for the whole module. So I can grab this one here and this one here, and I'll say module, transfer. And then that'll do the whole thing. Now you can also turn on include parent, but that will end up stacking them one right on top of the other. So you can do that, but it may not be exactly what you're going for. And that's pretty much all the settings in here. So in the next video, I'll go over uh, what's in the save and load proxies.